Ashtavakra Sanskrit, Astavakra Iast Astavakra is a revered Vedic sage in Hinduism. His name literally means, eight bends, reflecting the eight physical handicaps he was born with. His maternal grandfather was the Vedic sage Aruni, his parents were both Vedic students at Aruni's school. Ashtavakra studied, became a sage and a celebrated character of the Hindu history Itiyas epics and Puranas. Ashtavakra is the author of the text Astavakra Gita, also known as Astavakra Samhita, in Hindu traditions. The text is a treatise on Brahman, Atman and Monism Advaita. History Little is known about the life or century in which Ashtavakra actually lived, except for the history found in the major Indian epics the Ramayana and the Mahabharata and the Puranas. The legends state that sage Aruni, mentioned in the Chandogya Upanishad, ran a school asrama teaching the Vedas. Kahoda was one of his students, along with Aruni's daughter Sujata. Aruni's daughter married Kahoda. She got pregnant, and during her pregnancy, the developing baby heard the chanting of the Vedas and learnt the correct recitation. According to one version of the legend surrounding Ashtavakra, his father was once reciting the Vedas, but erred in correct intonation. The fetus corrected his father, the father got angry and cursed him. The curse caused him to be born crooked, with eight bends, which is what his name, Ashtavakra, means. The different versions of the legends chronologically place him with Janaka, the ancient king of Videha. Texts Astavakra is credited as the author of the Ashtavakra Gita Iast, Astavakra Gita, which means, "...song of Ashtavakra". The text is also known as Astavakra Samhita. The Ashtavakra Gita examines the metaphysical nature of existence and the meaning of individual freedom, presenting its thesis that there is only one supreme reality Brahman, the entirety of universe is oneness and manifestation of this reality, everything is interconnected, all self Atman, soul, are part of that one, and that individual freedom is not the end point but a given, a starting point, innate. According to Jessica Wilson, the Sanskrit poetics in Ashtavakra Gita is not driven by critical syllogism, but it is rich in philosophical premises, spiritual effectiveness and its resonant narrative because of "...textual indeterminacy between the audience's disposition and the foregrounded theme of non-individuation in the text." This tension, results in consistency building by the audience, which enables the transcendence of these two viewpoints reader and text. According to Radhakamal Mukherjee, the Ashtavakra Gita was likely composed after the Bhagavad Gita but before the start of the Common Era, and attributed to sage Ashtavakra out of reverence for his ideas. In holy texts <inaudible> Ramayana Astavakra is referenced in verse 6.119.17 of Yudhakanda in Valmiki's Ramayana. When Dasaratha comes to see Rama from heaven after the war of the Ramayana, he tells Rama, in the Aranyakanda of Adhyatma Ramayana, the demon Kabanda narrates his story to Rama and Lakshmana, in which he says that he was a Gandharva earlier who was cursed by Ashtavakra to become a demon when he laughed on seeing him Ashtavakra. When the Gandharva then bowed down to Ashtavakra, Ashtavakra said that he would be released from the curse by Rama in Treta Yuga. Mahabharata In the Vana Parva of the Mahabharata, the legend of Astavakra is described in greater detail. On losing the game of dice with the Kauravas, the five Pandava princes and Draupadi are exiled for twelve years. 
On their pilgrimage, they meet the sage Lamasa, and he narrates to the Pandava princes the legend of Astavakra, over three chapters of Vanaparva of the Mahabharata. Astavakra's wisdom on various aspects of human existence is recited in the Mahabharata. For example, Puranas Astavakra and Svetaketu made his way to Janaka's palace. Astavakra first faced the gatekeeper who tried to keep the young boy out. On convincing the gatekeeper that he was well versed in the scriptures and hence old, he was let in. Then Janaka tested Astavakra with cryptic questions which Astavakra answered with ease. Janaka decided to let Astavakra face Vanden. Vanden and Astavakra began the debate, with Vanden starting. They alternately composed six extempore verses on the numbers 1 to 12. Then Vanden could only compose the first half of a verse on the number 13. Astavakra completed the verse by composing the second half and thus won the argument against Vanden. This unique debate is full of enigmas and latent meanings which lie under the simple counts of the numbers 1 to 13. In arts Astavakra is one of the characters in the first act of the Sanskrit play Uttararamakaritam composed by Bhavabhuti in the 8th century. The 571st volume of the Amar Chitra Katha, published in 2005, is titled Dhruva and Ashtavakra. The second half of the volume presents the narrative of Ashtavakra. A puppet play on Ashtavakra was staged by the Datu Artist Group in Ranga Shankara in Bangalore in 2010. See also Agastya Ashtavakra Gita Topic Notes Topic External Links Ashtavakra Gita English Audio Book Ashtavakra Gita Hindi Audio Book Ashtavakra Gita Marathi audio book Astavakra story in the Mahabharata <laughs>